It was a divine Wednesday indeed. A week ago on this day, I celebrate six years of priestesshood to Oya, and the mother of the mothership beamed up to some other stratospheres with the Artist Access Network and an interview with Siraj Wilson. Now this is just a snippet of it. You gotta catch the rest on his Facebook page, which is posted at the end of this video. Enjoy the clip. Welcome back to the Artist Access. I am now here with the lovely Ayansa T. Muse. Did I say it right? You yes, looked at me like I did. Did I say it right? <laughs> yes, you did. Ayansa T. Right. Muse is sitting here with us today. How are you doing, Queen? Oh, if I felt any better, I kissed myself. Hey, I mean, hey, hey, I'm great. Hey, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I, hey, I'm in heaven. You feel me? But look, man, you find it here. You feel me? Fine. Yes, it took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get her to sit in this seat. I, I was trying to get her when I was doing radio. You feel me? But she does radio. <laughs> and she's here to talk about her radio show, which is uh, station. Radio Station. Yes, yes, Which is yes. It's a radio show, but she has her own radio station. Yes. 222.9. Two, two the Mothership. The Mothership. Beam yeah. it up. Beam it up. Yeah, beam it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so moment of truth. Go ahead. The entire thing was an act of faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this is one of those cosmic tales that you are afraid to share because it sounds so surreal even to you. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. For starters, <laughs> I played a radio personality in a play yeah, you told me that. Yeah. before yeah. I became one in real yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. Now I got jokes. That was a ritual. No, that was a, a movie and plays are rituals. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. And I have a degree in theater, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's a form of you know taking acting roles is a any type of role you take where you shift your spirit that's a form of conduit shift mm -hmm. but see i was unaware of that mm -hmm. something in my spirit said major in theater mm -hmm. i majored in theater libations to dr c lee turner mm -hmm. who was uh my teacher at the time of the charles gilpin players mm -hmm. but um yeah i played a radio state i played radio uh, played a radio personality in a play yeah and the character's name was lavender storm I'm a priestess of Oya and just celebrated six years last week. Right, right. So it's one of those things where it's like it's destined. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. Stumbled into radio in 2004. It's been on the airwaves off and on ever since. Mm -hmm. But you know, graduated from college when the recession hit. Mm -hmm. Tried to get into every radio station possible. Right. Then here comes psychic work. This is where you just have to sit down with God and just be like, let me holler at you for it. Right, right, right. So what is this really all about? Yeah. So 222.9, the mothership, mm -hmm. is an embodiment of preserving the genius of black music mm -hmm. because a lot of the sacred sciences that we teach and talk about, our elders and ancestors have been singing these things in the songs Early the whole fire? time. Why? Yes. Shit. And so the station runs seven different rotations and alignment with the planets and the Orisha. That You got to break that down for me because you, you told me that over the phone, but you got to break that down for me. How do you play songs dealing with astrology and the stars? Like, break that down for me. How, how they go down like that? Well, the, the, the <coughs> playlists are actually based on Orisha. Okay. And Orishas are the, the various aspects of Olodumare, mm -hmm. God through nature, mm -hmm. God in the forces of nature. Right. Uh, the Orishas help us to understand our natures right. through their characteristics right. what happens when this energy is done used the right way what happens when this energy is used the wrong way mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so you can feel the energy of a song mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you allow self-honesty okay. case okay. in point okay. this is why you would never play tupac how do you want it at church right 
but it would be appropriate in the bedroom between a married couple. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's really about understanding energy and knowing what okay. to put where. Okay. You know, and helping people to understand through astrology. Because how radio and astrology came together mm -hmm. was one day I had the audacity to ask God why I was here. Mm. Just why did you put me here, for real? And what answer did you, did you come up with, or did you receive? That, that, that question is still, still unfolding. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Because one, and that, that's going to happen for everyone. Yeah. When you dare to ask yeah. for your yeah. divine purpose, yeah. Yeah. that's a question that answers itself mm -hmm. over and over mm -hmm. and over, mm -hmm. and it's never a dull moment. If you allow it, but you're going to give up a lot now to follow that path. Mm -hmm. I gave up everything to build the mothership and didn't even realize I did it. Mm. The mothership. So you you yes. taking us on the whole throughout the whole galaxy on the trip, right? Yes. Well, the mothership is inspired by the P funk, the Parliament. Right. right. You see, George Clinton, when he says, "Can I say a word on here?" Yes, ma'am. Okay. I end my show, the forecast, every night with "Free your mind, mm -hmm. and your ass will follow." Yeah. But there's a real science behind that right. phrase. Right. 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 Okay. Freeing your mind is following your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And your spirit is supposed to rule over your flesh. Mm -hmm. So when he says free your mind, your ass will follow. That means follow your spirit yeah. and your ego will go to work for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You see? Yeah. And our ancestors and elders made these sacred sciences so simple mm -hmm. and beautiful mm -hmm. in these songs. Mm -hmm. And I felt it was my divine duty to preserve them. Right. In the world of what's going on with music today. Because right. like you said, acting is a form of conduitship. Mm -hmm. Music is a form of conduitship. Ooh, you better believe it. That's why traditional jazz used to be outlawed mm. for being voodoo music. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you can't categorize something like a Miles Davis bitch's brood. Right. You know? Right. When John Coltrane takes you on that trip, and we ain't going to start on Pharaoh Sanders. Right. This music has to be preserved. So you be playing, that, you play that on your, on your show? Oh, yes. It's a 24-7 rotation, okay. honey. Okay. And it has three days dedicated to the Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Monday for Yamaja. Mm -hmm. Wednesday for the Orisha Oya. Mm -hmm. Friday for the Orisha Oshu. Oh, I know you're about to say that. Yes. I know you're about to say that. Yeah. But we don't leave the fellas out. Because mm -hmm. you don't get the Divine Feminine without the, the divine, divine Masculine. masculine. Right, right. It's, 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 it's about balance. balance. ain't about a gender war. It's about a balance. Right. Force and receptive. Mm -hmm. So Tuesdays, because they rule by Mars and Jupiter, Tuesdays and Thursdays are divine masculine playlists. Mm -hmm. So you get an all-male lineup on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. And Saturday, Saturn, that's the day of the crossroad. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop wisdom.